type 2 diabetics, we think that the increased echogenicity on ultrasound of the deltoid muscle versus the supraspinatus tendon is a two-pronged uh, phenomenon. The first being adipose infiltration. Uh, we know that in patients with adipose infiltration, that's going to increase the echogenicity of the muscle. By comparing this, comparing this population to obese non-diabetics, we help to control for that because obviously they have increased adipose infiltration as well, but the diabetic deltoid muscles still appear brighter than the obese uh, non-diabetic muscles. There's also the um, insulin resistance factor that type 2 diabetics have disordered insulin resistance, which affects intramuscular glycogen uh, stores. So when you have decreased intramuscular glycogen, you're going to have more hyper echo appearance of your deltoid muscle. So you see that not only in diabetics, but also critically ill patients and athletes. And so again, the diabetic population was out of proportion to that not of the obese non-diabetic population. So adipose infiltration as well as disordered glycogen storage by way of insulin resistance uh, as factors for the change in appearance of the deltoid.